We are in Inspiration Tower in Missouri, Branson, Missouri. And I will have to get back to you on how high it is. It's not as high as the needle that we went to in uh, Texas. But we are at a higher elevation than we were in Texas. Ooh, do you feel it in your chest and in your ears? And <sighs> it is hard to breathe. Oh my goodness, I wonder how high we are. I'm dizzy. Oh, the coin thing, it's out of order. Oh, they got another one. Come see. Oh, we gotta see if we have any more quarters. All right, it says approximately a half mile from its launch point is the landing area for the Vigilant Extreme Zip Rider. Oh, it's right here in front of it. It goes straight down, so they could ride this and go all the way down there at 55 miles per hour. Wait, how do you get on there? The two floors down, the three floors down. So I'll try to get pictures from every which way. The land northeast is part of the Ruth and Paul Henning Conservation Area. Inspiration Tower offers a 360 degree view of what was once known as Shepherd of the Hills Country. The area immortalized in Harold Bell Wright's best-selling novel, The Shepherds of the Hill. Oh wow. Garbo, Missouri in 1904, John Ross and his son Charles purchased 10 acres along the railroad right of way near the country line. By December 1905, the railroad was complete. The first test run was on New Year's Day in 1906, and by January 25th, passenger trains were running on the new line daily. Today, all only small remnants of the town remain. Oh, wow. I wonder if we can go find the town. So let's take a picture of it. What? Car? Oh, okay, I'll check it out. The large valley to the north is Rourke Valley, noted in the Shepherd of the Hill story as the home territory of Wash Gibbs, leader of the vigilant group known as the Bald Knobbers, which the Bald Knobber story is pretty cool. And sad at the same time, but it's their history here in Branson, Missouri, so I think it's pretty cool. Mr. Matthews said, we're all been talking about you this morning, Mr. Howard, and we'd like mighty well to have you stop with us for a spell. If I understand you right, you're just out for your health anyway, and you'll sure have to go a long way, sir, before you find a healthier place than this right here. We ain't got much such as you're used to, I'm sure, but what we have got is yours, and we'd sure be might proud to have you make yourself to home for as long as you like to stay. You say it has been a good long time since we met up with everybody, quite like you and we would count it a real favor if you would stay here for as long as you'd like from the book the shepherd of the hills well that guy had really poor language skills i would have to say and it still looks flat geocentric up here above the mountains oh beautiful over here not much roads or anything. This is my story. It is a very old story. And the hills my 
of life there are two trails. One lies along the higher sunlit fields where those who journey see far and light lingers even when the sun is down. And one leads to the lower ground where those who travel as they go. Look always over the shoulder with eyes of dread and gloomy shadows gather long before the day is done. This mystery is the story of a man who took the trail that leads down the lower ground and a woman and how she found her way to the higher sunlit fields. In the story, it all happened in the Ozark Mountains. In life, it has all happened many, many times before and in many, many places. The two trails lead afar. The story so far, so very old, is still in the telling from the book of The Shepherd of the Hills. Very beautiful. Wish we wouldn't have the glare from the other windows. Amazing. Mr. Howard said in an odd tone, one can see far. These Ozark mountains are surely a God's blessing. We who live in the city see but a little farther than across the street. We spend most of our days looking at the work of our own and our neighbor's hands. Small wonder our lives have so little of God in them when we have come in touch with so little that God has made from the book of the Shepherd of the Hills. I'm going to take a picture of that one. It's a good little quote. Let's see if you can see that tower that's way... Well, you got to put a quarter in it. How far you can see. Uh, I can barely see that with the naked eye. I can just see like a little faint line. Oh look, chemtrails. A whole bunch of them. From this vintage, oh, from this vantage, you can see the tops of the amusement rides at Silver Dollar City. Can you see them? The top of the ride. Maybe over there, straight ahead, y'all. Yeah. Let's see, right there. Silver Dollar City. Um, now you're supposed to put a quarter in it. Oh, well that sucks. Oh, Colin said I do not want to be in the video. Oh, this side's beautiful. Oh, you can see Table Rock Lake coming up. Well, All right, in silence, old Matt and Mr. Howitt sat on the porch and watched the moon as she slowly pushed her way up through the leafy screen on the mountain wall. Higher and higher she climbed until her rays fell into the valley below, and the drifted mist from the ridge to ridge became a sea of ghostly light down in Mutton Hollow. It was a weird science, almost supernatural in its beauty, from the book of the Shepherd of the Hills. Oh, we're coming up to my favorite. As you can see our condos. Preaching Bill, who runs the ferry, says, When God looked upon the work of his hand and called it good, he wore sure a looking at this here Ozark country rough. Law, yes. Hit war made that a way on purpose. Ain't nothing to a flat country know how. A man just naturally wear himself plumb out a walking on a level thou thought airy downhill to spell him and then o oh flat now and hits chest a 40 but you take 40 acres o oh this here ozark country and god almighty only knows how much would be if hit war rolled out flat. Taint no wonder at all, it's tea all, but God rested when he make these here hills. 
he just naturally hadn't quit here. He done his beatings on war. Plum Jen out from the Book of Shepherd on the Hills. I just don't know how to take that. I don't know how to take that whole thing. What is the part? Still with the flights. So you can see Table Rock Lake somewhat over here. And we're staying off of Table Rock Lake. An overlook of it. And I kind of want to say maybe that condo is right there with that brown in the middle. But it is really hard to tell. And you can just see mountains and mountains and mountains for miles and miles and miles. So amazing. The four hilltops standing together on the horizon are the Four Brother Mountains located just outside of Berryville, Arkansas. They are approximately 20 air miles away. So these mountains, which are hard to see on here, so you zoom in, you see these little peaks back here? That's in Arkansas. So, and it says that they are 20 miles away by air. But I wonder how many miles they are by foot. Oh, that one works. We'll put sense in that one. On a clear day, the Boston Mountains in Arkansas can be seen approximately 65 air miles away. These mountains were said to be Harold Bell Wright's original destination before he was delayed by the flooded White River. Graciously, John and Anna Ross invited him to stay here at the homestead. So still here, you can see Arkansas Mountains. So and those are even further away, 65 air miles away. I don't know if I got a picture of the other ones. Let me go back. Sorry. Internet family. I want to make sure I get some good shots with my crappy phone. Okay, at least I try. It's always worth the effort. Did I read that one? Of all the country that Preachin' Bill had seen, from Ant Creek head to the mouth of the James River, and plumb to the pilot knob, he lowered as how the Mutton Hollow neighborhood was the prettiest from the book, Shepherd of the Hills. I think that book would drive me insane, <laughs> would not understand most of it. But this over here is the town of Branson. It's where all the shopping, amusement parks, hot air balloon ride, different little things, shopping. I said that. The valley below is Mutton Hollow. This is where John Ross kept his sheep. In the story, Shepherd of the Hills, the shepherd lived here and tended old Matt's sheep. Is that Shepherd on the Hills over there? No, we're on Shepherd of the Hills. I'm so confused. Okay, so what is that straight ahead that's like that big curve on top of that mountain? I don't know. I think this is the first one I read? No, first one is Oh, okay, we still got more. From here you can see 76 Country Boulevard winding around Dewey Ball, just below where the road now curves around the ridge was Sammy's Lookout. Yeah. Sorry, a little shaky today. 
see where I started. Just below in the Shepherd of the Hills homestead, originally purchased by John and Ann Ross in 1884, the characters Old Matt and Young Matt and Aunt Molly were based on the Ross family. The home to this day is known as Old Matt's Cabin, which is down below us. Why are you shaking my arm? Oh, you're going to look for quarters? <clears throat> Did we start here? No. The barn ridge to the northeast is Boulder Bald, said to be one of the meeting places of the Bald Knobber Vigilant Group. The tendency to meet on these bald knobs is how they got their name. Huh, pretty cool. All right, we're going to leave a few flat earth flyers and cards around. But y'all have a blessed day.